What is going on everybody and welcome to part 28 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we're just going to do a quick bug fix here. Then we're going to actually be adding a weapon to our shop menu. And then also utilizing this buy gun command here so we can actually purchase it from within that shop menu itself. But first let's start with this bug fix here. If you recall from last time what I did was that I converted this to a number because there was a chance that we would be getting a string value instead of an integer, which is what it should be returning. I figured out why it was happening, so we no longer need to convert this to a number, but we do need to go into our init.lua file and change a few things around here. Everywhere you see this set nw int being set to a get p data value, we need to go ahead and surround this p data with a two number like so. And the reason for this is because this p data is going to return a, or possibly return a string representation of what we would like to be a number. So let's go ahead and do that with all of them. So player xp needs to be converted to a number as well. So after that, we want the player money, so two number. And that should hopefully get rid of any of those errors. So if we go into game here, do a quick reload, and go into our shop menu and just purchase whatever we want. In this case, we only got the ammo dispenser, so we click it. As you can see, we no longer get an error. So it is no longer going to be comparing that string to a number. So there's that. We can actually go on to the fun stuff now, which is adding the or adding a weapon to our shop menu. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the same exact thing we did here. So I'm just going to copy that and then paste it. Except instead of an ENTS array, we want a weapons array. So everywhere you see weapons array, go ahead and change that. Everywhere you see ENTS array, go ahead and change that to weapons array. And this right here, we're going to be doing something a little bit differently than getting a scripted entity. We're just going to be doing opening curly brace and storing four values within these. The first one is the model, which is models slash weapons slash w underscore pist underscore deagle, then a dot mdl. That's going to be the model, which is going to be displayed within the spawn icon. Next up, the weapon name itself or the class name for the weapon, which is going to be bb underscore deagle. Then the name of the weapon, and this is going to be called the desert eagle or is called the desert eagle. And that's just what's going to be displayed whenever the tooltip shows up. So whenever somebody hovers over the spawn icon. Last but not least is the cost of it, which is going to be 100. And you can go ahead and change that to whatever you want. After that, we want to change quite a few things in here. First one being the parent of this. Instead of entity list, we want the all the weapons to be stored in the weapon list, which is just the icon layout that we have up here. Next up, we want to grab the model, and since the model is the first value within these curly braces, we want this to be V1, like so. The print name is the third value in this curly brace, so we want V3. The cost of it is the last one, which is the fourth one, so V4. Then we want to change this entity list to the weapon list as well, because we want to go ahead and add this icon here to the weapon list. And once that is done, we want to also change the con command here. We are no longer buying an entity. We are now utilizing that buy underscore gun command. And the class name for this is just this second value in here, the bb underscore deagle. So this will be two. And since I also want a second argument that's going to be passed in with this buy underscore gun command, I want to go ahead and concatenate that on. So we need dot dot, then just a opening, closing, curly brace with a space in between, or opening, closing, quotes, I mean, with a space in between, followed by V4, which is just the price here. So go ahead and save that now. If we go into game, then we press F4, go into the shop, weapons list. Oh, okay, we need to change this to weapon list. There we go. And now if we go into game, I'm just going to reload. And now if I go into the shop and click on the Desert Eagle, you can see that it was bought. It gave me 41 ammo plus the weapon itself. Now if I go back in and try to purchase it, 
it won't give me the weapon again since I already have it, but instead it will give me the 20 extra ammo. And I can keep doing that all day, and I'll keep getting 20 more ammo every time I click on it. So if that right there will conclude part 28 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.